Oh, jeez. He absolutely lit. Can we double up? Double up, Tristan, double up. Dude, he almost took the dang rod out of my hands. Yes! Double up, boy. Things are getting interesting here, folks. Things are getting interesting real quick. There you go, it's legs off. Okay. Move that out of the way. Got it. <laughs> Fish on, boys. Another Laker. Big T, are you ready for this big adventure? Always. Woohoo! Fast stop travel center. Oh yeah, dude, we are getting things started <laughs> right this morning. What are you thinking, Big T? I'm thinking the my massive Mountain Dew. Whoa. <laughs> here, Tristan, here, found him. Oh, what the heck are these? Big T, watch it. folks things are getting interesting real quick so I got my loafers on so right here on the fence there's an antelope stuck so we're gonna me and Big T and my dad we're gonna head over here and we're gonna try and help this antelope Okay, yeah. How deep is it in there? It's not super deep, it's Ooh, just twisted. It's right in and then twisted. So. There you go, that's kind of working. <laughs> it's alright, we'll worry about the rabies shots later. Do you have a stick, honestly? You could jam it in here and twist it around. Yeah, should I go get the should I go get the rod? Use the uh, uh big dipper, the handle. Yeah, go grab Oh yeah, I'll go grab that. So pretty much what happened was is it jumped over the fence, its hoof got stuck, and then the fence tilted around. So I'm gonna go grab our ice ladle that we use for scooping ice out of ice fishing holes, and then we're just gonna pry the try to pry the fence open and uh, see if that'll work. I gotta find where Tristan put it though. It's probably in the back. Oh yeah, there she is. Oh. Go. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our ladle here, shove it in the fence. Or we're just gonna try and pry it open and then hopefully it can run off. Got it. It's toes are like, okay, there we go. It's legs off. Okay, move that out of the way. It's gonna be just totally cool for the water, that Yeah, leg yep. So it's gonna that legs go. nice. There you go, <laughs> it runs into the road. <laughs> 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 and there she goes. Look at that. 
It's gonna take a second for her leg to get some feeling back in it. She's been on this fence for a while now, but let's go boys. Nice job, gentlemen. All right guys, well, an animal saved, some good content provided. Now let's go catch some fish. Welcome to the land of giants, everybody. What is going on? Welcome to Flaming Gorge Reservoir. This is one of the biggest reservoirs in the state of Utah. It straddles the Utah-Wyoming border, and uh, it is known for one thing, and that is monster lake trout. And for the next two days, me and uh, my dad and my friend Tristan, we're gonna be targeting some of these nice lakers. We may also fish for burbot, rainbow trout, salmon, who knows, but for the most part, we're gonna be targeting lakers. And it's gonna be an awesome two days, so stay tuned. But as of right now, we have to walk all the way out to the middle of this lake. My grandpa got out here much earlier this morning so we could find some fish, get set up so that we could hopefully show up and get on some fish really quick. So we gotta walk all the way out here and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys when we get there. Yes, our saving grace. We walked all the way out there to that guy just to find out that wasn't actually the people we were looking for. And now we have to walk all the way out here, but... Oh, dude. I thought my dad wasn't cool until now. Come here, big T. All right, guys, we are finally out on the lake, finally fishing. It has been an interesting day getting out here between rescuing antelope and all that, but we're out here, we're ready to catch some fish. To say the fishing was slow would be an understatement the size of Big T. <laughs> we tried different lures, we tried different depths, we tried different spots entirely, and after all that, we had nothing to show for our efforts. In fact, the most interesting things that happened all day were probably me and Tristan getting in a fight over the fish finder. <laughs> Tristan, I need to take the finder. I need to find the fish. Yes, I do. Ah! No. Let me take the finder, Tristan. You're so dumb, Tristan. Tristan, no. Tristan, no. Just let me take the, Just let me take the finder. There, was that super hard? No, it was just fun to like hit you. <laughs> no, Tristan, no, no, big T, don't take the finder from me. And doing some drifting on the four wheelers. Big T. Was that pretty masculine? No. Uh, Did you get me drifting on video? Yeah. Is that going in the video? I don't know. That better go in the video. <laughs> Fine, it'll go in the video. That was so hot. I'll put it in the video. <laughs> Should I like slow mo it? Like... <laughs> yeah, the slow mo drift and then me just killing myself. <laughs> <laughs> we even tried fishing into the night. Don't worry, we didn't catch anything doing that either. And after about 11 or 12 solid hours of fishing and sunburns, we figured it would be best to pack up our stuff, head back to the hotel, and figure out what the heck we were gonna do for day two of our adventure. All right, boys, what do we got going on here? I can move. 114 feet of water and there's fish on the bottom. Boys, we found them. Let's freaking go. Before this trip, I did a bunch of scouting and stuff, and this was one of the spots I scouted out, and last second we decided let's come out and try it. And sure enough, we are in 114 feet of water and there are fish all over the bottom. I got bumped a couple times on this tube jig. Just a second. <laughs> that was a good one. What is that, dude? Okay, that's it. I'm putting the curly tail on. No, at 100. Bro! Tristan just hooked the dumb thing already. <laughs> He's taking it and then leaving. Is he hungry? 
Yeah. Tristan's on. Tristan's on. Heck yeah, dude. Oh, you piece of uh, <laughs> No. Tristan, would you just catch this dumb fish already? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So we've been we've been going through some trial and error trying to figure out what they're eating. Tristan's gotten bit a few times on a white tube jig. And dad just caught one on a white curly tail. So I have a little glow in the dark curly tail on a white jig head and I'm just tipping it with some sucker meat. We're gonna drop this down. Just keep going. Tristan has hooked up like, what is it, six times now? I cannot get this fish. I think he's little. There you go, okay. Fish, fish on. Let's go, Sam's on. Dude, I dropped down and literally I thought I hit bottom. It's the, it's the curly tail. Yep, dude, I dropped down and I thought I hit bottom because my line stopped going and then I set the hook and it was a laker. Fish on boys. Oh, it feels nice, Big T. I don't know, Tristan, it feels good. I'm already at leader, dude. That fish ate me at like 50 feet. I was dropping line out thinking I was still going down. He ate it like middle of the water column. It's a nice fish, dude. I don't, it's not, it's not a tiny laker. Heck yeah, bro. Oh, he, no, right there. Come here, buddy, no. Okay. Yeah, just another pup. Okay, let's get back down there. Dude, that fish ate me suspended. All right, let's tip our jig again and get back down there. Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. We found him, boys. We found him. Heck yeah, dude. Just dropping down. Got him. <laughs> Middle middle of the water column again. Dad, I dropped my line and I watched myself on the fish finder. I got to about 50 feet and then my line stopped moving. Fish on, boys. Another laker. Heck yes, boys. We're the only ones out here. No one else is out here. We are on these fish. Oh, these head shakes, dude. Oh, heck yes, bro. Sam, I'm using my little rock. <laughs> All right. Yo, little pup. Bad. Old pup. Heck yeah, boys! There we go. First one of the trip. Dude, we didn't catch a single fish all yesterday. We get out here, we're the only ones out here, and we're slamming fish. This is awesome. Heck yeah, bro. Look at this, guys. Solid little little pup lake trout right there. Get that hook out. Mm, look at that, boys. And uh, these guys are overpopulated in this lake, so we're going to keep him. Perfect eating size. Heck yeah, bros. Heck yeah, boys! <laughs> I get down there, and I don't even have time to do anything else. I have another one on. All right, let's re-tip this with some sucker meat and get back down there. There you go, we're on bottom, boys. I'm just gonna reel up a few cranks and we'll just sit here and jig it around, see if one will pick it up. Yeah, it's already snuck up on us. There we go. He's on again. Fish bro. on, right off the bottom. I felt him, he, he, I felt him eat that too. He doesn't feel too big. Right off bottom, dude. I literally just, I jigged it a few times then just held it still and buddy chomped down on it. Look at your rod. I know, it's barely bent. This is not a big one. It's so stupid. Dad. <laughs> Tiny laker, bro. But these are the ones we want to get out of this lake. So if you guys don't know, Flaming Gorge is very overpopulated with small lake trout. And they've asked you to get as many of these out as you can. So look small. Most of the time I'd throw a fish of this size back. But they're wanting these, these fish out of the lake. So throw them in our pile. Heck yeah. Fish number three, technically, but second fish landed. That's a pretty fish, dude. I know, they're gorgeous. Where are the, where are the I don't know. Oh. Tristan, stop, Tristan, stop right now. You absolute booty. See that right there at about yeah. between 50 and 75? Yeah, it could be. There was a bunch of them. There's me going down. Yeah, it's true. Oh, what's coming up? Oh, oh my gosh, Tristan. I got hit, I got hit. He came up to me. He came up. Oh, I got him. Oh, he, he bit it. He bit it. He bit it. He's off. He's off. He's off. They're still on me. They're still on me. Oh, I missed him again. Oh my gosh. I think they're kokanee, dude. Big marker 75. Got him. There you go. Bring that sucker. There we go. Fish on. What is it? Feels like. Oh, it's not fighting like a coke. Kokanee run up. That was the mid call. Yeah, that was right in the middle. He chased me. Oh gosh. He's running. Oh my gosh. It's a nice fish, dude. Drop down, Tristan. Get him. Oh, dude. Dude, oh dude. Yeah, yeah. He's fighting real good. Yeah, he's fighting real good. Nice Laker. Nice Laker. On the hype. Oh jeez. Yep. Oh gosh. Trying to. No, what the heck? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. No, no, that's how I lost all of mine. There we go. Nice Laker. So that was a school of Lakers that came through. Tristan's on. Yes, 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 Tristan. Get him, get him. Oh my gosh, nice Tristan. Let's go, buddy. Get him I'm up so here. <laughs> I'm stoked. This is awesome. In fact, screw you. I gotta get back down there. <laughs> nice Laker, dude. Skinny guy. Let's go, Tristan. Yes. And he popped out for me. We've all got one. P perfect, Tristan. Let's go, dude. Let's freaking go. 
Nice dad, nice. Okay, drop down Tristan, drop down. <laughs> I gotta get the pliers for mine on the buzz bomb clutch. I gotta get the pliers for mine, this is madness. Okay, got mine unhooked. Let's drop right back down. We have Lakers all over the bottom right now. Hey, Big T, you having fun? No. All right, I am having fun if you didn't know already. <laughs> Shut up, get the oatmeal cream pies out of here. Big Mark 75. Really? Oh, oh yeah, I had him. Got him, had him. Whoa, that was a good one. Dad, there's no way. There he is. There you go. Yes, him, Nice, yes. dude. Was it 75 or was it the bottom? 75. Uh, you little... We're gonna gonna, did you really lose him? Yes. How, how did you lose him? He came off of the hook. Gosh dang it, Because he's half a pound. Oh, jeez. He absolutely were you lit 75 me up. Or were you on the bottom? I reeled up and he chased me up and slammed it. He's on dude, me. Can we double was, up? Dude, can we double up? Double up, Tristan, double up. Dude, he almost took the dang rod out of get my hands. Yes! Double up, boys, double we up. We gotta land them both now. We gotta oh, land them. oh, that's a better fish. Tristan's Oh, the no! Are you kidding me? <laughs> what is that? Why did they come it come off so easy? The way he hit, I can tell this is a nice Laker. Oh, yeah. Get out of the dang hole. Nice. That's a good one. Yeah, that's probably what the biggest of the day about. Check it out, guys. That's what we're catching. Why is it every time you come over to leave? No, I mean, Arden. Yeah, Arden can match it. Oh, that was a good bite. Oh, oh, that's a good fish. Oh, good job. Nice, we're, Tristan. We are yes. still hammering these Holy, fish. that's a good fish. Dude, that is a really we good fish. We are still hammering. <laughs> oh, Tristan's got a decent one on there. Uh, double. Hope Sam's got a double. Heck yeah, that's a good dude. Fish, dude. Yeah, Tristan's got a decent one. Oh, on my there. gosh. Here comes, here comes. Oh. I did. Thanks, nice, dude. Oh. Another decent one. Mine's still down there just dogging me, dude. That's a good fish, too. I Mine's not even that big, what the heck? <laughs> he's pretty long, but he's pretty skinny. Heck yeah, double up Tristan, let's go. Yay! Yeah. Let's catch him, Big T. Oh, oh, hey, they're coming through. Yep, yep, oh, school's through. School. Hey, Tristan, school's in session. It's not funny. Yes, it is. That's no, a, it's yes, not, that was a I'm, little funny. You didn't even get a grin out of me. That was a little funny. It wasn't. Come, Tristan, that was like it two wasn't out of funny ten funny at, at all. least. The dumbest joke I've ever heard. Oh, nice one. Shut up and catch a fish. There we go. Nice, Dad. Bending that rod pretty good. You got something down on the bottom, dude, I'm heading towards. Okay. That was a good thumb. Nice. It's probably still about an eight incher. Yeah. <laughs> the eight inches fight the hardest, Dad. Nice, Dad. He's fighting pretty good. I don't know, man. That's pulling pretty good. Am I in you? I think I'm in you. Yeah, no. I'm opening my valve. You can just pull. Oh, hey, 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 we got a decent one, Jim. Decent Laker, holy cows. Nice one. Yep. Oh, that's a nice Laker. Oh my gosh, Dad, holy cows. That's a fat one. Oh. Hey, right. Let's see if we can get him through the hole here. Let him wear himself out. Yeah. Here, I, I opened up my veil, so you're good to... He's all wrapped up in mine. Okay, we got him twice. It's not gonna come otherwise. Oh, get no. That, get under that gill plate. Yep, trying to. Oh, this one, oh, I don't like the sound of that. Oh, Dad. Oh, Dad. Oh, Dad. Is he going to fit? There, there it is. Oh, gosh. Oh, Woo! Woo! Let's go, Heck baby. yeah, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Dad, bro. Heck yes, Dad. Hey, Sam. We've got two PV. Let's go get some shoulders on him. Nice, Dad. Oh, yeah, man. That's my hand as comparison, guys. Nice Laker, Dad. I was going to say you hooked it and you are like, he's probably small. Look at how lassoed he wasn't That's going crazy. anywhere. He got Tristan. Is he tangled in you? Yeah. He got all tangled up in Tristan. That's crazy, Dad. Let's go. Just we cut him off. And then we'll... Nice. Now let's freaking go. There we go, boys. That's what we're after. Lunkers. Freaking lunkers. Let's go. What a beautiful Laker, Dad. Let's go. <laughs> That's why I don't like keeping fish on the... There he goes. Perfect kickoff. Heck yeah, Dad. Heck yeah. Oh, something came up to you. Oh, dude, nice. It was on me, and it left me for you. That sounds about right. Hey. Yeah, you would be having that. Oh, man. There we go. Oh. Really light bite. In fact, he hit it from the bottom. Uh huh. Like, I all of a sudden felt slack, and he was on there. Nice. It's nowhere near the size of Dad's, but still a nice Laker. I will take it. Bruh. 
What is that? We are getting the dinks out here, bro. Heck yeah, dude. This is epic. Gotta love Lakers, bro. We'll have a cream pie. He's throwing them over. Yep, we got a few. What an amazing day on the ice, guys. This is one of the best days I've ever had fishing for lake trout, especially through the ice. So the fact that we were able to get out on a brand new spot and just slay the fish, it is the best feeling in the world. But yeah, I don't know how well the camera could tell. I am super sunburned. It has been a heck of a two days trying to find these fish and uh, we definitely ended up finding them and literally caught a bucket full. But yeah, as you can probably tell, that's gonna do it for today's video. I'm super tired, guys, so I'm not gonna make this intro any longer than it has to be. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Big T. <laughs> You're good, Grandpa. All right, you piece up and slide you. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh. <laughs> You're so stupid. You're such. So <laughs>